this is the brain it's a big brain uh, it's the left um, cerebrum or left hemisphere of the brain so you can see the medial view so immediately you can see the frontal lobe here is the front at the front we have frontal lobe and at the back you can see the occipital lobe down here we have the temporal lobe and up here you can see uh, the parietal lobe here is the parietal lobe frontal parietal occipital and temporal so this is the medial view on the medial view you can find the corpus callosum it's connecting the right and left hemispheres of the cerebrum or brain down here you can see the septum placidum it's separating the um, lateral ventricles and this white color uh, shows the fornix it's part of the fornix so corpus callosum septum placidum and fornix again fornix acts like a like a corpus callosum is connecting the right and left hippocampus i'll show you in other in minutes in other video and here we have the this oval shape the structure is a thalamus down here we have this triangular structure is called hypothalamus this is the hypothalamus so if you look at here we have some sections coronal sections i'm going to show you the inside of the brain if you take it out and look at the inside you can see some brown and pink structures they are nuclei different nuclei so the most superficial one is the cortex is gray matter and then we have medulla it's white matter and deep to the medulla you can find some nuclei it's called the basal ganglia or basal nuclei so if you look at again from the lateral view in the lateral view we have lateral fissure so it's separating the temporal lobe from the parietal and frontal lobe this is a lateral uh, fissure or lateral sulcus deep to the lateral sulcus you can find the insular lobe so if I'm going to show you the inside. So this is the lateral sulcus. Deep to the lateral sulcus, you can find the insular cortex. This is insular cortex. And again, I'm going to back uh, into the medial section. If you look at the medial view not section this is a medial view if you see here this coronal section section path passing through the hypothalamus so here is the hypothalamus so i expect that would be the hypothalamus this is the hypothalamus so lateral sulcus deep to the lateral sulcus you can see the insular cortex and Deep to the insular cortex, this area is called the lentiform, and this is the lateral ventricle. Just next to the lateral ventricle, we have caudate nucleus. Caudate plus lentiform, they make the basal nuclei or basal ganglia. And this line is also part of the basal ganglia, it's called the clostrum. So from uh, lateral to medial you can find the lateral sulcus deep to the lateral sulcus insular cortex deep to the insular cortex you can find the uh, clostrum and then deep to this you can see putamen it's part of the lentiform and then glues pollicus internal nucleus and external nucleus so internal part of the glues pollicus external part of the glues pollicus and as I mentioned earlier, this is the caudate nucleus. Between the caudate and glucose pollicis, this white color is called the internal capsule. So internal capsule is white because it allows the uh, myelinated axons passing through to get into the brain stem. So it acts like a highway, it allows the myelinated axons to pass down through the internal capsule. So here is a temporal, temporal lobe, deep to the temporal lobe. This structure would be the hippocampus. It's related to the memory. 
So in addition to the internal capsule, we also have external and extreme capsules. So here is a, again lateral sulcus, due to the lateral sulcus insular cortex. This white color immediately underneath the insular cortex is external capsule. Then we have clostrum. Between the clostrum and putamen, we have another white color. It's called extreme, extreme, extern. Sorry, the, this one is the extreme capsule between the insular lobe and the clostrum. And the second white color between the clostrum and putamen is external capsule. Extreme capsule, external capsule, and this one would be internal capsule. If you take a coronal section through the thalamus and hypothalamus, you can find the nuclei of the thalamus and hypothalamus. So this section is completely different from that section. It's a little bit anterior, this one. As I showed you before, it's passing through the hypothalamus, not the thalamus, but this one passing through the thalamus and hypothalamus. If you take them out, I can show you that here is the thalamus, so these three brown colors show the different nuclei of the thalamus. And this triangular structure is hypothalamus, just under, underneath the thalamus we have hypothalamus. So these three nuclei are related to the hypothalamus. Up here we have three nuclei of the thalamus, down here we have the three nuclei of the hypothalamus thalamus, hypothalamus. What is these? These two spaces. So it's lateral ventricle. So lateral ventricle is a C-shaped structure. So what is this? So it's caudate nucleus. Just keep in mind, caudate nucleus following the uh, lateral ventricle. So always the caudate nucleus is next to the, uh, the lateral ventricle and thalamus is next to the third ventricle. So here is the third ventricle. Thalamus and hypothalamus are next to the third ventricle. So if you want to identify the thalamus and hypothalamus from the medial view, you should first identify the third ventricle and then next to this, you can find the thalamus and hypothalamus nuclei. So what else? Here we have the lateral fissure, as I showed you in my previous uh, video. This is the tem temporal lobe. Here is the parietal, sorry, frontal and parietal. Lateral sulcus separating temporal lobe from the parietal and frontal. So deep to the lateral sulcus, you can find the insular lobe or insular cortex. Deep to the insular cortex, this white color is the extreme capsule. And then this brown is the clostrum. Deep to the clostrum, this is the um, external capsule, extreme capsule, external capsule. So external capsule is between the clostrum and lentiform. So I'm going to take it out. So here is a lentiform. Lentiform nucleus and caudate nucleus and clostrum, they are part of the basal ganglia or basal nuclei. Lentiform is comprised of laterally we have putamen, Medially, we have glubus pallidus. Glubus pallidus has two parts, internal and external part. So from lateral to medial, you can find the lateral uh, sulcus, insular cortex, extreme capsule, clostrum, external capsule, lentiform has three parts, putamen, external and internal parts of the glubus pallidus. You can find the lateral ventricle, caudate nucleus following the lateral ventricle. Then if you look at the medial side, you can see the thalamus and hypothalamus. So at the top we have thalamic nuclei, down here we have hypothalamic nuclei. 